Hello everyone, this is Swati from themehunk.com. Welcome back to our channel. In my this video, I am going to create a grocery store website using our theme TA Shop Mania and Guttenberg. For this, first I am downloading my free theme from here. This theme is especially built for page builders. As you can see, we have given many ready to import templates with our theme. These templates are made using Elementor, Brizzy, Guttenberg and Page Layer. You will get many advanced features in our Pro version. TA Shop Mania is especially built for page builders. You can use your desired page builder for creating your website. You can use the one click demo import functionality for setting up your website in just one click. It is fully compatible with WooCommerce plugin, integrated with WooCart, Compare plugin and Search plugin. Ok, now I am navigating to my dashboard for creating my website, appearance, themes, uploading my theme zip file here, installing. Activating it. My theme has been successfully activated in my dashboard. Okay, now I am going with the TA Shop Mania theme options. From here, I will install and activate all the recommended plugins. These plugins will be helpful in designing my website. Ok, now I am going with my starter templates, from here I will import my demo, going with the Guttenberg tab, this is my template, grocery shop, I will use this template for desi designing my website. This is a very beautiful template. You can showcase your products in your website. Okay, now I am installing other required plugins WooCommerce and GetBit. Importing my website. Let me show you the shop page of my website. This is the shop page. I will display my shop products here. In your website, you can display logo, search box, and other shop icons here in your header you can also add above header you can show different menu display categories in the category box you can easily your visitor can easily add the products into your cart and compare their products in footer you can show your copyright and other full footer elements import is done now now I am navigating to my website This is my website. Now I am going with my dashboard for creating my website post, pages, products, product categories, visits and menu. First I am going with my post. 
as you can see these are my imported post I am creating a new one post title post description adding the post category post text nowadays setting up a online store is very easy publishing it okay now i am navigating to my pages these are my already created pages uh, i am editing my home page my home page is created using gutenberg editor using gutenberg editor is very easy just drag and drop any desired block from the block section and you can start designing your website to show products in your gutenberg editor just add the product short code like this to know about the product short code please navigate to the documentation i have added the link in my description in this way you can create your home page using gutenberg editor you can set full width template from here if you want to show any sidebar in your home page you can select it from here now i am navigating to my woocommerce pages to know how you can set up your woo pages just to navigate to the documentation link is given in the description from here you can set the selling location and shipping location from product tags i am going to choose my shop page this is my shop page saving my changes from advanced tab as you can see my cart page checkout page and my account page is already set up now i am going with the product adding a product here for my website you can also imp uh, you can also import the csv file of your product product title product description product regular price sale price from product data you can select your product type as you can see i have selected simple product if you want to add any variations in your product you can select variable product you can use our plugin th variation fetches for adding variations in your product from here you can select the desired category or add a new category product tag i am selecting left sidebar for my single product page product image product gallery images publishing my product in this way you can also add multiple product in your website you can also add categories from here these are my already created categories 
and assign products in them you can also interchange the position of your categories like this and now i am navigating to my menu for setting up my site menu creating a new menu for my website from here adding the menu name selecting pages for my menu like this setting up the display location as main now i am going with the visit from here you can add from here you can add visits for your primary sidebar above header visit footer visit area woocommerce shop page and product page sidebar you can add uh, i am adding my visit by just dragging and dropping the desired visit from here like this After doing the dashboard setting, I am navigating to my customized panel to show you what we have given in our customized panel. As you can see, this is our customized panel. First option is site identity. From here, you can upload a logo or display site title and tagline in your website. As you can see, I have uploaded a logo for my website. from total color and background option you can pick uh, desired theme color for your website just like i am doing this option is for background color i am changing the background color of my website you can also upload a background image from here from footer copyright you can add uh, copyright text for your website from visits you can add visits in your above header and add visits in your footer by just adding any desired visit from the visit panel in woocommerce setting you can disable or enable the sidebar from your single product page like this in this way you can also create a beautiful grocery store website for your business i hope this video tutorial will help you for more video tutorials like this please press the bell icon and subscribe themeang channel thank you